வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஆசிர்வாதம் சார் யுனைடெட் அண்ட் தமிழ் Egypt was, was of the Hamites. Egypt was of the Hamites. It was. Yes, yes. So that yeah, nobody's arguing against that. My friend, uh, can you hear me? Are you having difficulty hearing? Genesis 10 mentions a table of nations. Wait, hold on, David. Give me one second. I want to tell you why I came up, right? The reason why I Wait, wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, Ruben. Look, we we got to we got to go right now. Long time I'm going to listen to both of you because okay. even one day is not enough for both of you definitely. He's because I have listened to you independently. I have listened to you. Wait a minute, I'm going to lose my number. Oh, I, I don't have this number. I'm going to lose my number. I came for number. just two words, uh, Faithful. Okay. Mm-hmm. I just want to talk about two words, which are actually one word what uh, Maya mentioned, that is Adam. And another word I would like to talk about is uh, Noah. Yeah, but, but Ruben, I, I'm going to lose my number. It is such, a, it is such a, a short description. And then okay, I go fine. down right, go and listen to yeah. you. I'm here for uh-huh. almost two hours listening yeah. to everything. Uh, Maya, you mentioned that how deep is Hebrew? For that, you mentioned that uh, Adam and Adamai. But Adam is English pronunciation. That it, I would like to know, how do you pronounce uh, Adam in uh, Hebrew? Adam. We well, say Adam. Yeah, I mean, Adam, it's, Adam. it's, it's uh, Adam. human. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The yeah. closest related word in Hebrew is Adamic, which means a red sand. Am I correct? Yeah. Well, you're saying Adama, Adama. Wait, let me, let me answer. So that comes, so Edom, if you said Edomite, that comes from Esav. Esav was the brother of Yaakov, and that would have been something different. I can no, hear wait a moment. Not about that. The closest oh. word. He's saying Adama. He's story. talking about Adama. Adama is red sand. Adama means Adama. Adama means there is no that is no the closest word uh, to give the meaning of Adam. The same thing for Noah. Noah is again English. The word Nawak means rest. In Hebrew, also am I correct? In Hebrew, Noah means rest. Noah. Okay. Rest. You say Noah, right? Now I'm going to talk about Adam. In my language, Ad denotes God, Tam denotes breath. And I have, if you think, if is this related to what Adam is, how he is made of, it is up to you to believe it or to ignore it. It is your idea. You can do whatever you choose to do. So we, we actually, in our language, we know what Adam means. When we say Adam, And when we read the story about Adam, we understand why he got the name. Because we, I don't know about faithful, we, people who belong to all those linguistic civilizations, we do not name anybody or anything without a meaning, without the history of the specific person or the place. Then let's move on to Noah. Wait, 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 Ruben, before, wait, Ruben, you said a few words and you're going on a spiel there. He, hear me out for a second. So I, I you cannot with Adam. impose. I finished with Adam. Yeah, but right? hear me out for a second. I know, but, uh, person, yeah, I but if, if we could just interact with that. I don't hear you. I'll, I'll let you I bring out one more, but, but let me uh, interact with that point. Ruben, I'd like to interact with your point. So but you're I, in your language. Okay. You, I finished with Nawa. Is it okay? Sir, uh, sir, respectfully. Yeah, so, you. can I ask you a question? What language do you speak? Oh, sorry. I speak Tamil. Tamil. Okay. So, here's the interesting thing. So, your language is Indo-European. So, the relevant language that you speak, you're saying that we're going to base the biblical... Wait, hold on. We're going to base the biblical text on an Indo-European language, which is not the language of the relevant text, which is what Genesis is composing. If you're taking that approach, then I think it does a disservice to the relevant text because saying the name Adam, you know, when you take the two words in your language and you combine them, therefore this is the definition. I I don't know if I would do that because that would be imposing onto the text what it's it's not based on. You have just you have just insulted about fifty billion people, faithful, okay. by calling it a European language, right? Okay. And you have no clue about our history of what is Dravidian language, what is Tamil language, what is uh, 
Indo-European sanctuary. It's a Dravidian language, correct? Yeah, it is being classified as such. But we may disagree, right? They never asked the Tamilians what it is. You understand what I'm saying now? So you have no clue. We're asking generally you now, people, what is it? Go no, generally people that. don't have any clue, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to understand my language, like, you know, you will have to, to speak to those people. Okay, no, no, that's fine. I, if, if you would, I'm, not, I'm not arguing that your language is not old. So, and, and forgive me if I no, misclassified no, no, no. You your language. Wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on. My friend, no, no, let me finish. Please just hear me out. Which means no, 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 no. Let me let me correct myself. I'm going to correct myself. Hold up. I am going to correct myself. So your language is Dravidian, right? Let me correct myself. All right. No, it's not. Um, I would. Yes, it is actually. It's Tamil not. is a Dravidian language by the Tamil people of South Asia. Tamilians, whether it should be considered as the Dravidian, it's a Dravidian language, oh, correct? Uh, My friend, if I link you right now, if I link you to a scholarly article, are you going to say the scholar, the, keeping that in mind that they use your yeah. people as the basis? Now scholars. you're going to say that they got it wrong? Do you want to know about scholars? I'll speak it because I my, my friend, I, I think that if scholars. I'm talking about no, not allow me if I'm talking about speak. scholars from your own your people, respectfully, accepted by If I'm referring to scholars of your own I'll people, you an and I'm dealing, uh, right I'm going to ask you, Ruben. No, 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 Ruben. You are going to show me an article. I'm going to give you an yeah. example about scholars right now. You can check it out, right? Okay. Okay. Now, this uh -huh. is a very small exercise. If you go to YouTube and if you go mm -hmm. and type, oh, oh YouTube. Uh, that's that's, that's really. really Oh, you really think people are idiots, right? So why don't you... I, mean, I, I think there are some people that are idiots no, on the tab. I have, not, I even, I, I certainly I have think not even finished, and you still want to... How man, sit in that audience, bro. How did we get into this conversation about... To, I mean, get up out of here, man. Out of here. Wasting time in here. I'm sorry, man. Go, go ahead, Nabat, man. Let, let's continue our conversation. I don't know. We, we, so I, I corrected myself. It is Dravidian, for the record. Tamil is Dravidian. Uh, much to the syringe to the uh, the guy that was in here, but you know, I guess he doesn't want to accept reality. Someone wants right? to real quickly just know why Jews usually put the dash between the G and the D. We just have, were very, very double careful when we were we were commanded not to use God's name in vain. So if you're writing, typing, or you, you're going to put something on paper, it could be thrown out, erased, whatever. So we just even even in English, which is not a holy language, which technically is fine. Thank you.